Hi and welcome back to another lesson in the physics series. Today we'll be discussing the properties of waves. There are several properties of waves which we will be discussing such as the wavelength, the velocity, the period, the frequency, and the amplitude. We will also be discussing formulas W1 and W2, the velocity and period relations of a wave, which are also shown in three various forms, the period, the frequency, and the velocity here. Okay, let's get started by first discussing the definitions of each of the variable factors of a wave. Let's remind ourselves that the definition of wavelength with the symbol, the Greek letter L, is the distance between two successive points that are in phase. And when we look at our problems later, we're going to see what in phase means. The velocity of a wave is the frequency times the wavelength. And that's a direct formula right off the reference table. That is formula W1. The period. Well, we like to really call this the time period because this is the time it takes for motion to repeat itself. And we measure this in seconds. Frequency, the number of times or how often the wave repeats per second. Frequency and period, as you can see here, are inversely related. The more waves you have, the less time each one takes and conversely, the less waves you have, the more time each one takes. And then finally, we have the amplitude. That's the power or the size of the wave measured by the displacement from the rest position. All this is going to make a lot of sense when we start looking at some problems. Here we have the FET oscillation simulation. I want to show you a few things. So the amplitude of this wave is the measure of where the wave height is against this baseline, which is this dashed line right here. The frequency is going to be how many waves you see or how frequently they appear. So let's turn up the frequency and see what we get. So here's a low frequency wave. And you're going to see the beginning or part of a sine wave. And if I start to steadily increase the frequency of this wave, you should observe the sine wave is traveling out the window. All right. So here's a frequency of one hertz. The distance from peak to peak or from trough to trough is a wavelength. Let me show you with a very high frequency. There you go peak to peak, or trough to trough, or really any point on a wave and its matching point on the next wave. That is a wavelength. So let's take a look at this. Look how quickly these waves are flowing to the right out the window. So the high frequency of this wave production causes a shrinkage in the distance between the peak to peak difference or a shorter wavelength. Now I could adjust the amplitude and if I do that you will just see a wave that is shorter in height. But notice it's at the same frequency so the distance from peak to peak or trough to trough that's a wavelength. The amplitude is this vertical distance right here. So that is a relationship between period and frequency that you must understand. Here it is in slow motion. Now I've paused the simulation so you can see that a high frequency produces more waves in the given line between the generation of the wave and to the end of the line, say, these waves going out the window. So let's take a look. You have one full wave, two full waves, three full waves. So at a frequency of three hertz, from this distance to this distance, you are able to see three full waves. Now if I lower the frequency, 
So I cut that frequency all the way down. Let's go to this 1 hertz. Let's play it. And now we'll see how many full waves are actually visible. Oh, look at that. A much slower frequency. And you only have a part of a wave. Let's count it. One peak, one trough. Oh, and we start again. So it turns out that one full wave is all that's able to fit in this space between the wave generator and the open window. So the slow frequency produces less waves and less waves in the same distance means they have a longer wavelength. More waves is a higher frequency. So to fit more waves in, I have to have a shorter wavelength. See, there it is. I'm going to pause it here. And there you go. One, two, three full waves. So high frequency, short wavelength. Low frequency, long wavelength. Thank you for watching. And in the next video, we'll do some problems and demonstrate these concepts. See you there.